we are back at Volcano Bay. Yeah. So they just lifted um, free park preferred Universal Orlando blackout dates yep. for July and half of August. Um, pass holders cannot go until after 4 p.m. But literally yesterday they lifted them. So it's Saturday. We're gonna see how busy the park really is. Middle of July, summer. Um, no expectations, we're just happy to be here. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So right off the bat here, let's go ahead and look at wait times. Definitely looks a little busy. <laughs> uh, expected it to be. Um, all the Taniwa tubes are of course right now. The mat slides are surprisingly right now. So that's kind of cool. Of course, Teawa. Uh, just a moment ago, we saw that Krakatau was a 210 minute wait. Um, so definitely a little busy here mid-afternoon in July. Just try to go over to uh, Kolahola Reef to get some to eat. We haven't had lunch yet. And uh, pretty crazy line. So we're gonna walk now towards uh, the River Village area of the park uh, where we ate lunch last time we were here. Hopefully it's a little bit slower. Uh, we're gonna walk over there and check it out. So Kelly, what do you think about the crowd levels here in July at Volcano Volcano Bay? We waited like 30 minutes from the time of ordering to the time to get our lunch. It's past 3.30 now. There, and there was only two registers open. If you have that big of a queue line, can you guys open more registers? Please. Three, two. So Kelly got the bamboo burger, which has onion, straws, some kind of tropical slaw, avocado mayo, cheese, lettuce. It's really good actually. And then I got actually the same thing I had last time because it was amazing. The uh, Kakiri Karika chicken sandwich. And then I got a refill on my drink. Kelly got her Volcano Blossom Pilsner. So we're gonna chow down here. And uh, yeah, should feel a lot better after eating. So we just got done with lunch. Um, I'm just gonna kind of do a cursory glance around, see if it's even worth it to get a locker. Cause we'll need to get a locker to put our stuff in. But if it's gonna be a crazy madhouse everywhere, then we might not. Tayawa definitely looks pretty busy. Uh, just all around the park looks super busy. Holy Moses, it's a lot of people. It doesn't look too bad though. Yeah, not too, too bad. Well, it's that time again. We have to put you away. But we will retrieve you momentarily. It's so bright. I know. Uh, it's like overcast, but bright. Um, so we did the Action River. Tail um, with the Fearless River. Yeah, Fearless River. Um, it was pretty busy. Not busy. horrible, but pretty busy. And then we put in our. <laughs> oh, um, God. Our uh, um, tapity tap is for Puliki, which is a family raft, like dual wall slide. Yeah. Um, and and we have, now we can return any time, but we just want to give a quick update because um, Punga Racers was yeah. a ride any time, and we went over there. This is like the mat slides where you race. There's like three or four of them, like enclosed yeah. um, slides. Um, the line was really long. <laughs> member told us the line was long because they're weighing each guest and the weight limit is 150 pounds. Yeah. So which neither, neither of, us... of us can ride now. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we have definitely done it multiple times on previous visits. So, so they must be adjusting all their, their weight limits or something. Very interesting. I don't know. It's so, very strange. Kind of unfortunate, but yeah. it is what it is. So now um, we're going to go use our return time and head to Kawiki. Yeah. So a uh, quick update. Um, I'm in a wheelchair because I may have broken my toe uh, walking into the Puihi slides. Uh, so right as you come in, there are these uh, hard bamboo, not only really bamboo, that's fake, um, poles that divide the two lines. Uh, I hit my toe really, really hard on one of the bamboo poles. Uh, heard a pretty loud popping sound. Um, so, crap, I'm um, 
so we called over to uh, medical services, uh, let them know, fill that a thing. Um, got a wheelchair, so I can get out of here, at least to the buses, um, somewhat comfortably. Um, it is going to be fun, because I do have to go up a flight of stairs to our car is. Um, so yeah. Well, we're home. We are home, and uh, it is official. I did break my toe. So a clean break, kind of at an angle, right on the joint line. Um, so I do have it taped. I have it elevated. It doesn't really hurt that much, honestly. Um, so that's settled. Um, but we just want to talk a little bit about like the whole process. Um, so I mentioned it earlier, but basically I was walking into the line for Maka and Puihi. Um, and it's a split line because you got to go over one or the other. And there are these hard bamboo poles that divide the lineup. Um, and I was walking in, just kind of walking, and I hit my toe super hard, obviously. I heard a crack on one of those poles. Um, so I kind of messed with it in line, and I was standing aside, and we were walking away, because they like, actually, should we tell somebody that that's happened here? Because like, his toe was like facing yeah. the other the direction, direction. <laughs> so I was like, yeah. And I've, I mean, neither of us has ever been injured like at a theme park or an establishment yeah. like that. And just for like liability reasons, I was like, I don't think we should just leave. I think you should get it looked at. So yeah. we told the um, team member that was like the ride attendant who was like, didn't want to look at it. He was like, yeah. I'm very squeamish. Uh, let me just call somebody. Uh, da, da, da. And it kind of took a while it did. for health services to show up. And I know yeah. it's not like... It's not like Joe was like bleeding out and it's like a life or death emergency, but yeah. it was like, we're just kind of waiting there. So mm -hmm. it's like awkward. And they were like, we yeah. did call somebody. I'm like, okay. Yeah. And security came by first mm -hmm. and then two like medical professionals from health services did. Yeah. And I mean, there's not really like a whole lot like they can do. Like we filled out a report and one of the um, medical services personnel was like, you know, used to be an EMT and work yeah. with doctors and like reset bones. And she was like, yeah, I'm 97% sure this is broken. Here's a list yeah. of hospitals. This is what you're going to want to do, blah, blah, blah. And I asked, okay, like we'll leave and we'll leave and then go to a hospital. But how do I get him out of here? Like he can't yeah. walk on him. Yeah, I could and, not. Yeah. Like I figured out eventually how to sort of walk on it, but it's very but, uncomfortable. And not safe. Um, but and walking on a water park, park everything is so You're in a water park and yeah. you're on bare feet. So, um, yeah. you know, and, and she was like, I think we have a wheelchair. I'm like, yeah, I was like, Ugh. okay. So then it comes, then, you know, maybe another like what, 15 minutes? Yeah, it took a Another while. security personnel came up and brought us a wheelchair yeah. and then, but we, quickly figured out we can only bring the wheelchair so far yeah. it only got us to the parking and as you know you have to park in the parking structure for universal studios and you take a bus like there's nowhere mm. to park at the physical water park yeah so you take the bus so we got him on the bus to mm. back to our parking structure but we were on level two up two flights of stairs yeah so we can't take the wheelchair on the bus and when we got to the parking structure got Joe off the bus mm -hmm. and I figured there there's got to be some sort of like courtesy wheelchair in yeah. the parking structure they have those you all see over it, Disney see it Disney in the parking lot something um, like that but there wasn't there wasn't one so yeah. he was waiting on like on a bench and I went over and asked security and the security guard was like uh I'm not sure if we have wheelchairs I'm like okay like what well, kind of told her I was like my husband got injured at the water park and I need to get him to the car to to take him to hospital yeah and she's like I, if we do i don't know where there are where it is and you'd have to take it across the parking structure to the elevators anyway yeah and i was just like i, I don't feel like i was asking no not really a lot like, probably... you know like it's a courtesy wheelchair yeah. too and i was like well i have to get my husband to our vehicle yeah. to take him to the hospital i understand i'll have to yes use an elevator sure but how would anyone else do something like that like so our only yeah. option was to take the ambulance from the water park to the hospital which is weird it was not just cost -effective. very 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 disorganized yeah. and kind of awkward it wasn't a great yeah it experience. Was a, like it i said i don't expect them to really bend over backwards and it wasn't life-threatening yeah. and everyone was nice but yeah. it really wasn't it it wasn't easy and I was just very confused mm. of like what to do. So Joe yeah. had to basically hop up two flights of stairs <laughs> to our car. <laughs> it was not and, fun. <laughs> you know, not fun. So eventually yeah. we did, you know, um, make it to the emergency yeah. room. But, you know, in that situation, you kind of want things to be easy and like stress-free as yeah, possible. Sure, and just sure. like, you know. But, kind of a bummer. 
you know, I mean, yeah, the whole situation was, yeah. honestly. <laughs> a little um, bit of a bummer. So, um, yeah, but we're home now. Yeah. Um, we will try to have some less exciting vlogs coming up. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe do some restaurant reviews. less reviews mobile vlogs or... for the next couple weeks here. Um, <laughs> All things heal. Yeah, so. Um, so, yeah, so tune in to the future of Young at the Parks. And we'll, uh, see a, a wheelchair next. bound future of Young of the Parks, oh, no. and we'll, uh, we'll see you then. 